one of the beautiful things about Headway is that they are never happy to just sit back on their laurels, so to speak, and, um, you know, and just leave the, the theme as it is. They're constantly making improvements and um, adding things to the theme that give you more flexibility and allows the whole process of designing a great website to become easier. But because of that, it's really hard to stay on top of things as far as someone who does um, tutorials and tries to post tutorials. So the latest and greatest thing that um, Headway has added with their 3.5 um, and I'm on 3.55 at this point, is the fact that you have the ability um, to create wrappers, uh, multiple wrappers. And that just kind of opens the door up to all kinds of new possibilities. The problem is a lot of people don't understand why you might want to use multiple wrappers or exactly how to use that feature. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So the first thing we're going to do, of course, is we're going to go to our Headway Visual Editor and we're going to go to the grid. And when the grid opens up on my, this is one of my test sites that I use for either building client sites or playing around, which um, I tend to love to do with Headway. Um, when you come in here, you're going to see now with 3.55 um, or 3.5 and above, you're going to see this ability up here that says um, add fluid wrapper, um, fluid wrapper with fluid width, or fluid wrapper with fixed width, and then you can actually add a fixed wrapper as well. Um, the difference between fluid and fixed, um, your fixed width is going to be your, your smaller, it's going to uh, remain smaller, you're kind of going to have the box inside of your background. Um, and I'm sure you've seen it with a lot of different websites. If we take a look at this one, uh, if I open it in a new tab, you can see that, you know, we've got this box and then here's our gray background around the edge. So that's a fixed width. Uh, fluid width actually extends beyond. So if, say, your header was fluid width, it's going to extend all the way to the edge of your browser window. So when you think fluid, think that it's going to flow out to the edges of your browser, whereas fixed is going to remain the same size within that browser window. So let's, for the sake of showing you how easy it is to add these wrappers, you can either add a wrapper here at the top and it will show up up here, or if you scroll your way down to the bottom, you have that same option to do it down here at the bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fluid width wrapper that we're going to put our header inside of. So I'm going to do this and I'm going to do a fluid wrapper and I want the grid to actually extend out to the edges. Um, I want to be able to put, put blocks all the way to the edge of my browser window. Now, if you still wanted to keep your content and your blocks within that same fixed width, but you wanted maybe your background, maybe you're adding a different background to this wrapper, um, then you might want the fluid wrapper with the fixed width grid so that you could only put blocks in that same um, fixed area and and not overlap into the fluid area or the area that extends out to the edge of your browser. But in this case, I actually want it to be a fluid wrapper with a fluid width grid. And you click that and boom, look at that. <laughs> it's magic. Our fluid wrapper has been created. Um, and so what do you do here? Well, since I already know that I want to put my header in this section, I'm going to make it big enough to drag my header in there. And there we go. Now that's what's in there. My header is in there. A lot of people would also add their navigation in there. And I, and, and I would. Now you could keep it just like this. Um, if we save it, <clears throat> and then we go and do a refresh on the site, you can see the difference. Now here is where our header is and it goes all the way out to the edges of our browser and then our content is still within this fixed wrapper below. And I'm sure you've seen websites that are created like this and you've always wondered, gee, how do they get that effect? Um, and you could, of course, you know, make all of your wrappers fluid if you wanted your entire site to flow out to the edge. A, a lot of sites also do this. We'll add another one of these fluid fluid wrappers and pull our 
footer down into it, save it, and hit a refresh. And now you've got your header and your footer that extend all the way to the edges, but then your content is kind of floating in here. You've got your background behind it and it's kind of floating in here in the center of your screen, which uh, which is going to ensure that should somebody have a smaller browser screen um, that they're going to be able to see your content and it's not going to overlap. Um, of course, if you're using the responsive grid, then it's going to resize anyways. But um, there could be many reasons that you'd want, you know, a, a, it to be set up like this. I mean, it just gives you one more unique way uh, to design websites that aren't like anybody else's or that have... Um, you know, different features that you couldn't do before we had, you know, the ability to add these wrappers. Now, another question that I'm hearing a lot, it's like, well, that's really cool, but why would you want to use another wrapper? And I can just tell you from experience um, that one of the reasons that I do is if I want a background image behind something. Um, for example, I recently had someone that wanted a background image behind a navigation. And so what I did was I set up a I set up a wrapper that held my header. And then I set up another small wrapper that held my navigation and then applied a background image to that wrapper and then had my navigation clear. Now I, I can show you exactly what happens in that instance. Okay, so here I have our header fluid wrapper, our header in the fluid wrapper. Now I've created another fluid wrapper for us to put this navigation in. Um, and as you can see, I've actually created our navigation bar here. And you can see that it's smaller. A lot of people are like, well, why would you um, apply a background to a wrapper rather than just giving it to the navigation itself? Well, what if I wanted to put some social media icons on the same line and I didn't want to have to do CSS coding to stick them within the navigation bar? This way, with my background running across the entire wrapper, I could actually use like a Swiss Army block um, to put my icons in or a custom code block to put my icons in right in the same wrapper and they're going to get that same background without me having to do custom CSS coding. So it makes it very, very easy. Um, to get that uniform background behind all of the items that I might want there on that same line with the navigation. So now that we've created this and I've already saved it, you're going to want to go to the design area. And here is our wrapper and to apply our background we're just going to right click on this and edit this instance, look at our background section and we're going to choose a, a background image and I've already uploaded it to my media library and we'll use this image. Now it's automatically going to tile it um, and I don't want it to tile it ver vertically but I do want it want to tile it horizontally. So we're going to go to this repeat area and we're going to say tile horizontally. That's great but look it's kind of way above my my navigation. Well we can fix the position. So let's center, center, and voila, there we go. So now I've got this beautiful red <laughs> glitter ribbon. Don't ask me why I chose red glitter. Um, but I've got this beautiful red glitter ribbon that's behind my navigation. I can make, you know, all kinds of adjustments here. I can, you know, fix the padding or whatever, all just within the visual editor. I don't have to do a bunch of CSS coding to get, you know, this really custom look behind my navigation bar. And as I said, if I wanted to put my social media buttons in here, I could uh, just by simply adding a block. So there's just one reason that um, I like having the ability to use these um, multiple wrappers. Now one thing that you might notice is that there's space between these wrappers, but that's really easy to take care of as well. Right in here, when you're editing in this particular wrapper, you can actually go in and adjust the margins so that if you didn't want margins in between them, you can get rid of that, go into the padding and set those all for, um, for zero and see what happens. 
and you might have to adjust where your navigation is sitting too um, depending on you know the the adjustments that you make um, and then of course you can always nudge um, you can nudge the entire wrapper so if you actually want it to be positioned right up against let's find the nudging area and it'd be a vertical offset and it would be let's pull this to the relative method and let's try let's start with minus 25 oops almost there minus 29 let's try minus 30 and you're going to see that when you um, and then you could move this one up as well so that it met it if you wanted to but you can make it so that it's absolutely seamless so that you ab that you cannot see um, the space in between them so that nobody but you is going to know that you've got multiple wrappers sitting in there so there's a quick tutorial on uh, how to use the wrappers um, that's just an idea of different uses for it there are plenty of other reasons that you might want to use these wrappers the fluid wrappers multiple wrappers whatever but I just wanted to touch on this because it was such a big addition to headway and as a website designer or somebody that's even designing your own website you want to know that you have this capability available to you